Hello, everyone. My name is Master Malad Barami. I am the tournament committee chairperson for the BC Taekwondo Federation, and I will be walking you through how to create an academy on Smooth Comp. Creating an academy on Smooth Comp is mandatory for every club that's going to have competitors. A competitor will not be able to register for any tournaments without their first being an academy uh, profile on Smooth Comp. Before you do that, you must create a personal account. You can just do that really easy when you come on Smooth Comp for the first time. I've already done that, just entering my basic information. I created a, a test account for us to you know, test various things like registration. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my account. Under here, a lot of you uh, Dojang owners and coaches will be using the coach manager. Uh, as you can see right now, I have nothing listed under coach manager. So what I need to do is I need to come to under community and go to academies. Once I do that, I can search for my academy. If you haven't already made one, you probably won't find your academy here. All of these academies are not just Taekwondo academies. They're from various martial arts that use Smooth Comp for running their tournaments. On this page, you're gonna click create new academy. And the more information you fill out on here, the better. I'm gonna keep it really simple right now. And I'm just gonna use my academy's information. I, I have already made one. I am gonna just make a, a new one for the sake of this test. So as you can see, my academy has already been made, but I'm gonna proceed anyways. I'm gonna say, I want to create a new academy which will allow me to do so. I'm gonna enter all of my information. Like I said, the more information you add, the better. Uh, I will ask you guys to add as much as you can. I think uh, a few of the fields that are a must are the person in charge. You know, you can keep it simple by just using your name, or if you like, you can add your full title. And from here, let me add my email. I'm gonna add the phone number of my academy. And uh, I, I encourage everyone to add their website, uh, at least upload uh, the logo, and please turn this on, member approval. So essentially when a tournament goes to, uh, a student goes to sign up for a tournament, it will ask them what academy they're a part of. And they can complete registration, but what will happen is uh, them completing registration and selecting your academy will trigger an email to the email that you put over here. And what it will be the job of, uh, you know, the, the club admins is to go in and approve their membership. And as the tournament approaches, if you have members that uh, have not been approved, you will get, you know, you will be reached out to by myself or Master Large or, or someone else on the tournament committee that will ask you to approve the members. You know, our, our tournaments are sanctioned for BC Taekwondo Federation members and uh, Taekwondo Canada and, and essentially World Taekwondo. And it just depends on the tournament that we're running, if it's going to be a provincial tournament or it's going to be an open tournament. Uh, but essentially, we ask that you turn this on. You can skip affiliation. That's more uh, for jujitsu uh, gyms that have larger affiliations outside of their club. And we're going to create an academy. Okay, as you can see, this name has already been taken. So this will give me an opportunity to test try a different name. And you can come over here and you can double check. Let's see if my academy will show up. As you can see, Port Moody Taekwondo is already here. We have the new academy that I just created, ABC uh, Taekwondo. All the information will be here and this will be open to the public. Uh, 
you know, at future tournaments, we can keep track of statistics, results from competition. We can, as a federation or a club, choose to keep that hidden or shown. And then we have our members, pending members and approved members. Right now, I, I'm the only member. And what I can do is I can go in and as the admin, the first person that creates the account will automatically become the admin and they can set the rules. They can reject members. They can, you know, uh, remove members after the fact. They can change them to coaches, give them different uh, classifications. <clears throat> And once you get this done, uh, please reach out to me or Master Large, preferably me. You can reach out to me at Milad, M-I-L-A-D, at pmtkd.com. And what I'll do is I will, you'll, you'll need to tell me what the academy name you've registered is. And I will go into our federation platform and I will add you as a member. So your turn, your students can uh, start to enroll for the competition. Uh, registration essentially opens tonight at midnight. And once we have people registering, if your academy is uh, not listed, uh, your members will not be able to register and you will have to complete this process uh, before you can do so. Uh, there, you know, this is a, I, I encourage everyone to, really explore the platform. It's it's very in-depth and there is a lot of uh, cool features on here that we're going to be showcasing at this upcoming tournament, the Korean Console Cup. And if you have any questions, I, I encourage you to explore. And the best way you can do that is you can just on any page, you can come down here and click get support or you can go to support.smoothcomp.com and then from there, you can see up here, there's different support um, areas for, you know, competitors, organizers, uh, even spectators, and for you guys, coaches. And on coaches, you'll find, you know, anything that you need to know more information about, you'll find on here. Okay, so that concludes tonight's tutorial on how to create an academy. Please do remember, once you create your academy, to reach out to me at malad at pmtkd.com, letting me know what the academy name is under Smooth Comp. And what I will do is add you to our federation as soon as possible so your students can start to register. Two more things that I think is important for all club owners to know is that uh, for Paris Pumse, whoever is competing in Paris Pumse, that duo needs to create uh, a separate smooth comp athlete account that is separate from their own. So all the athletes along with the coaches should have their own smooth comp account, but athletes that are competing in official black belt Pumse pairs will need to create a separate uh, account with the name of them and their pairs partner. And they need to register for that through that account and that account only while using their own individual account to register for all of the different sparring and patterns divisions available. Uh, another thing to know is that uh, all coaches are required to register for this upcoming tournament. So the registration um, opening and deadline is the same for for the coaches as it is the athletes. And so coaches must go in, there is no charge. And essentially when the coach registers, same email is triggered uh, where they will need to get approval from, um, from the club owners before they can represent uh, their club as a coach at this upcoming championship. This way we can make sure that the people that are on the floor are, are you know, uh, you know, qualified for the position and we're not just getting anyone that can get a hold of a coaching pass out on the floor coaching we want to keep our uh tournaments professional and we only want qualified individuals in a position to coach okay thank you very much i hope you found uh this tutorial informative if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out to us but I do encourage you to check out support.smoothcomp.com and you can find all the necessary information there. Okay. Have a great evening. Good night.